Hello guys, in this video, I am going to explain the different worksheet views. As you can see the screen, there is a large quantity of data and it is very difficult to navigate the required data. So basically the screen is visible at 100%. Like you can see in the corner, it is visible in 100% and the minimum value which can screen show is 10%. The 10% gives you a bird eye view and the maximum percent a screen can show is 400%. Okay, so now let's come to the worksheet views. When you go on the view tab on the ribbon, there are various settings that allows you to customize how the worksheet looks. As you can see in worksheet views, there are different types of worksheets. First of all is normal, page break page layout and custom views. Most of the time you will work in a normal view. That's what you see here. If you print your worksheet, then you may find the page break view and page layout handy. We can also toggle between these views using the icons down in the status bar. Uh, as you can see, it is shown in the normal view. Then we can change in page layout view and then in page break preview. Okay. So first of all, let's comes to the normal view. The normal view is the default view and uses this view to build or edit spreadsheet. We can edit and remove and create anything in this review. Now comes the page break preview. In this page break view, it displays the blue lines which means page breaks and it has to increase and decrease the print area. For example, in this current screen, it is given that the when we go to the print, up to 44th row it is printed let's go to the print site uh, as you can see in the print preview the data up to 23 number is printed now let's say i don't want up to data 23 number i want up to 1 december so how to change it so you can change by simply dragging the blue line up to 1 december Now let's go to page preview. As you can see now the printed data is up to 1 December. So as, as you can see the page break review helps in the printing of the data. Now comes the page layout view. You can use the page layout view here from here. So basically page layout view gives the layout of your page. In this you can add header, footer and other functions. There is specifically tab given in the ribbon given by the name page layout. In this you can change the margins, orientations that is portrait and landscape, the size of the page you printed, the grid lines whether you want to want them to be printed or not, heading you want them printed or not and change accordingly.